What's going on everybody on YouTube? I'm going to try this one again because my dad just interrupted me and that kind of makes me angry. Anyways, today you're watching some kill confirmed gameplay on the map Lockdown. Pretty good map, kind of reminds me of Crash because in Crash there was a central helicopter landing area that well, obviously it was a crash. And in this area there's also a, a, a similar crash, it's a car crash and that's where B-Dom is. And it's similar to Crash in Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. There are a lot of second story buildings, so uh, it's it's pretty good for assault rifles because there are, as you can see, some long long views or long views of sight or long sight areas, whatever you want to call it. And like right here, for example, great assault rifles. But if you stick around this area of the map, you're also going to be running in and out of buildings, around corners. It's going to be great SMG areas. And speaking of SMGs, I'm using one of the best ones in the game. It's a PP90M1 Custom. And on it, I have a similar setup to what I used on my hard hat kill confirmed. I used on my hard hat one a kick proficiency along with rapid fire. This one, I'm using a silencer and rapid fire. Now, they do about the same thing. The kick and the silencer, they do about the same at reducing recoil. So, uh, you can choose whichever one you want. But obviously, I think the silencer plus rapid fire is a little bit better because you also get that silencing effect. But you also have to take into account the reduced range. But then again, I mean, it's an SMG. You're not going to be sniping people. I mean, I'm less using the UMP, but... Well, in this game, it's pretty balanced, I think. Anyways, so my first specialist perk is going to be sleight of hand because with, with hardline, you only have to get one kill for your first perk. And that's what I find useful. You can just use hardline, throw a grenade, and get your uh, sleight of hand. And that is really easy to do. So you might as well use, I think what I have on here is Scavenger right off the bat. But I'm not sure. I may be running Recon because, I don't know, I thought it was a good idea. But it's not really a good idea. Uh, pick up the Scar because, once again, you got some long views of sight. And also, you can't shoot a gun that doesn't have any ammo. So I did ditch my PP90 M1. And then I have my Accuracy Killers, FMG9 Akimbo. And that definitely lowers your accuracy, believe me. It's at 14. I am not... I've been running around with SMG rapid fire and FMG9 akimbos. I'm trying to get back into assault rifle usage a little bit, bump up my accuracy, but when you're using things akimboed like this, you're going to be spraying a lot, and well, that's just what's going to be happening, but I've been having poor accuracy for it, and it's going to kill me uh, in the future, so I might as well get my assault rifle game back on, see if I can bump my accuracy up, and see if I can do a little bit better with that. But I have my super soldiers with a... What do I call it? The Super Soldier perk where you get everything at once. And, oh gosh, this guy's an idiot up here. Uh, doing a little drop shotting. Which a lot of people consider try hard, but I don't know. It's it's not like, you know, noob tubes on Modern Warfare 2 using noob tubes one man army. Does that try hard? No, that's just really dumb. Alright, that's cheap. Alright. Is drop shotting cheap? Well, no, because not everyone drop shots and, well, not everyone can drop shot. I mean, I think everyone can drop shot, but if I did say that, then some people's like, oh, no, I can't drop shot worth of crap. That's why I play on default, just like the knife. Well, you know, there you have it. So, not everyone can drop shot, I guess, but, you know, if, I guess you could try hard enough or something. I don't know. Anyways, uh, some tips about choosing an SMG. There are some good SMGs out there, aren't there? Well, in this game, I definitely think the PP90 is my favorite SMG. Close to that is the UMP, and now I've started to use the MP7, and let me tell you guys, it is good. It's some good stuff. Probably going to be getting a gameplay out to you guys. It's going to be alternating. One day posting a post commentary, one day I'm going to be posting a session for my sucky live commentary. Now, the reason why I started playing that is I wanted to get uh, striker damage proficiency, which takes a few, few hours of gameplay, so... I wanted to do that, but I only recorded the games that I, uh, oh boy, I found their spawn. Look, I spawned all the way over there, got killed by three people, and then I spawned all the way over here. Why was that the optimal spawn? I'm just, just speculating here. But I kind of decided not to use that, so later in the series, I do decide to switch weapons. Sorry about that, but I'll probably be doing that after I prestige. And I am going to be prestiging in this game, uh, maybe once or twice, but... I don't see myself going all the way to 10. It seems like too much of an inconvenience. I do enjoy getting my prestige tokens, but who knows? Unless I can get, what, like 15 classes or something like that, I might not do it. But I think the max is 10, so I probably won't be prestiging all the way. Anyway, 
Uh, I'm just running around on the map, and I don't think there's anything else to say. SMGs, steady hand, hand or steady aim, go hand in hand. Nothing too much to say about that, but what I've been recently doing is trying to utilize any cover I can, because there's a lot of clutter in the map, and some people would consider that good cover, and I don't really think so, but, you know, use whatever you like. Anyways, I'm going to end the commentary here. Final score is 21 and 4. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And remember to rate the video. And let's watch this guy with the UMP vomit camo. And I, I am going to make a confession. I have used the vomit camo. Uh, it, it looks a little bit better in this game, but, but still, it's pretty vomity. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Goodbye.